what's it going to be like going against Dion, uh, not just in a practice situation, but a, a game? You know, I think it's going to be exciting any time you have an opportunity to play on Sunday against an NFL team, especially at their caliber. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a big game for them and a big game for us. Could it be a, uh, maybe a rough reminder of just how hard Dion Lewis has to tackle on Sunday? You know, he's a great player, and they have a great team. They're doing a lot of good things. They're coming off a big win in Dallas, so we're excited for the challenge. A big win in Dallas where they converted 11 of 14 first downs. That's pretty good. Third downs. Yeah. How dangerous are they on third down? Dangerous. I mean, you just hit it right there. 11 14 is a really high number. Uh, it's one of the best in the NFL um, conversion rate in a couple years, I think. And Mar uh, Marcus is playing really good football, and they're doing a good job. And they're doing a good job on first and second to make third down a little bit shorter. So we need to do a good job first and second down to minimize the yardage so that we can put them in long situations. Is there any extra motivation knowing that after this week you guys have a bye week? Uh, you know, we're focused on this game. Uh, it's a long season, and when the bye week gets here, it gets here. But right now we're going to be real focused on the Titans because we know what kind of task that's going to be. Kyle, um, against the Cowboys, Marcus had kind of a slow first quarter, and then he bounced back and just played really well for the rest of the game. How have you seen – or what have you seen from him just in terms of his confidence and his poise out there? Yeah. You know, his toughness uh, is really unmatched. I mean, he does a really good job of – playing through injuries and just playing through different situations he's put in and you know he's a gr good player you know he's an up-and-coming quarterback he's really been on target uh, on a lot of his passes and just getting everybody involved and he's going to be a tough challenge he's really good at running the ball and throwing you can see the coaches are doing a good job influencing him and we're, we're excited for the challenge. Kyle, how do you look at a guy like next to you, like McClellan? You've been through this before. The, yeah. the additions in midseason, how important is that to a team? Maybe as a message also, like, hey, we've won, you know, how many in a row, but we still try to get better each week. Yeah, anytime you have a player, um, not just him, but players that come here, we want them to be the best and come join in on the fun, just trying to win games. <laughs> No. no. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to hurt his feelings, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he is a good player. Um, you know, he has a great legacy here, but he's a head coach now, and so I think that's the last thing he's worried about. I was just thinking, I was curious if you have seen him how his team kind of reflects his toughness. Yeah, his toughness. I mean, just shows. Look at his defense. They're tough over there. Kyle, having been with this team for two years now, what is it about, you know, this time of year, like the midway point of the season where it just seems like the defense seems to click and find their identity a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. Just guys knowing what to do and playing fast. And, um, you know, you're working through some kinks at the beginning of the season, but it's go time. And the season's ticking down, and uh, we know what time it is. Do you feel like you guys are clicking, like especially after you know, how, how I don't know. That's your that's your judge. Call, we go man. through this every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. You break down the film and let me know. Yeah, but you guys are breaking it down. Is it? Is there anything that you've learned about this defense then? You know, especially after after that performance against the yeah. Packers. We're hungry. We're we, we're hungry to get back on the field and keep proving people wrong.